fifteenth session is the second half of the strings. In the last session, we have seen certain predefined strings coming from the string.h header file. We will go for the rest of the predefined functions. The first one, string copy, as the name itself says, it copies the particular string that is the destination to the source variable. And this is how we say if S2 is a string which holds something, like for example, going for a program. Uh, string.h is a required header file. Now in main, if you have str1, str1, which have triple A in it and char str2, which holds triple B in it. Now when I say strcpy string copy the destination str2 the one str1 holds so it means what all str1 holds copy it into str2 now when I say puts str2 I'll be printing triple A but not triple B as you can see printing putting triple uh, string 2 which holds triple B we should not say it is triple B on the screen because we are copying the triple A into string 2 if it is a case of concatenation CAT what all S2 holds will be remained in that along with the new content of S1 so this is the difference of string concatenation and string copy in string copy this particular string the string what you place over here will lose its data whereas in string concatenation this particular string holds its data as well as it will take up this particular strings data into this one now this is the difference between string cat and string copy going for the next predefined function in the string dot h header file is char str1 holds name like India and char str2 holds name like Kiran which is my name now when I say str upr consider India is in lower in upper case and Kiran in lower case when I say str upr string upper str2 which holds in lower case in lower case is converted into uppercase that is capitals and str lwr lower if i convert str1 into lower which is already in uppercase is converted into lower case now when i say put as str1 and put as str2 now see they will be converted into their opposite cases that is India will be seen in lower case and Kiran will be seen in upper case the size differs now as you can see India which is in upper case is converted into lower case because you said lower string lower in what you have in this likewise Kiran which is in lower is converted into upper in and printed on the screen so this is how string lower and string upper works now coming to the last function in string dot h is 
string comparison before going for string comparison we need to check the ascii values we need to be sure of the ascii values the ascii values are nothing but when you press some a key on the keyboard it holds a particular integer and it can be identified in this way first of all char c which takes scan of percent c comma ampersand c and when you say print of percent c comma c it's like it's like giving a character which is d and printing it on the screen when you said percent c it printed the same character on the screen but if you say percent d we'll see what exactly it prints when you say d it gives 100 as d is identified with the integer 100 to the compiler so what all characters you say their ascii values will be printed on the screen when you use printf percent d as the format specifier now saying locus a will be given 97 so it clearly says the locus alphabet begins from 97 and locus b 98 locus c 99 locus d 100 so your locus alphabet begins from 97 and your upper case begins from 65 so this program gives you to print the ascii value of a given character so what all character you say whatever character you type on the screen its ascii value will be displayed on the screen even the the opening brace holds certain ascii value which is 123 space which holds 32 so what all you press from the keyboard their ascii values will be displayed on the screen now just change the program into this way with this program with this program we can will be giving a particular character from the keyboard and its ascii value an integer is displayed on the screen now i'll change this program i'll give the integer into c for that i need to say percent d and i'll be printing the character on the screen so if my integer is 65 i shall be printing the capital a if my input is 123 i shall be printing the opening brace if my input is 100 i shall be printing locus d so these two programs gives you the ascii values of a given character and the ascii value for a particular character now going for the usage of the one that is string comparison consider i have char s t r 1 string 1 and string 2 now when i say get s of s1 and get s of s2 and the string comparison function returns an integer we'll see what that integer is str cmp comparison of string 1 comma string 2 execute the program now type the words kiran and kiran because they are both the same there is no difference between them it displays zero so it's clear when you give two strings the same set of characters you'll be getting zero as your output asdf and asdf both are same it gives zero 
but saying asdf and asdf will it give difference or will it give zero that is no difference at all it gives certain difference now what exactly 32 is will we get 32 every time we have some difference in them this time minus 48 so how is this possible to find out how exactly the difference will be displayed this is possible with the help of ASCII values now consider ASDF and ASEF now it is clear that one single character that is D and D are enough to say that both the strings are different here in the first string D and E when I compare these two it is clear that the first string is completely different from the second string now compiler will do the negation of string 1 and string 2 wherever it finds the difference so it is D minus E as the difference of the ASCII values that is D 100 and E is 101 it says 101 minus sorry 100 minus 101 which is minus 1 so this way we can find out the difference between the given strings now capital A which is 65 and locus A which is 97 the difference between them is 32 so 65 minus 97 is minus 32 so this is how we can find out the difference between the strings based on their ASCII values in the, in the first slide first session we have seen certain predefined functions like get ch get care get ch e put care put ch we'll take up a look on all these functions in detail now Conio.h console input output dot h is a header file in which we can see the definition for get ch and get ch e and all those things. But what does get ch mean? Care C when you say C equal to get ch and printf percent c percent d comma c comma c compile the program and you can see the com cursor is blinking it means the compiler is expecting us to give a character but there is no scanf statement available in the program so it clearly says when compiler encounters get ch function it expects us to get a character it expects us to give a character and so from its point of view get a character now if I press a character its ASCII value has been displayed I'll remove the percent C I won't display the character but when I press certain key from the keyboard only its ASCII value is displayed that is when you use get ch the character what you press so get ch will not display the character what you have pressed on the keyboard using get ch e works in a similar way but it displays the character what we have pressed on the keyboard so the difference between get ch and get ch e is get ch will never display the character what you have typed get ch e will display the character what you have typed coming to get care get care will display the character what you have typed and also it expects you to press enter then only the further execution begins so get ch will never display the character what you have typed get ch e will display the character what you have typed 
get care will display the character what you have typed and also expects you to press enter coming to similar functions when it is get ch not coming to put ch when you say c c holds consider the character s that particular character will be displayed on the screen now if you say put s in single quotes as itself is treated as a character but not a variable and is displayed as on the screen so likewise if get is to get something from the keyboard put is to put something on the screen we'll go for a program by using certain string uh, predefined functions which come from string dot h we might you might have heard the term palindrome that is keyword keys like lil if you come from here l i r i l it is the same as l i r i l from the other side but the other keyword like is not the same so certain key certain words which are same from this side or from the other side are called as palindrome words we'll check whether the given string is a palindrome or not for that i need s1 whose length is 10 and s2 which also holds 10 characters in it now i'll say get s for s1 i'll copy the given string into s2 for that i need str cpy copying into s2 from s1 after copying i'll get the reverse of s2 i'll get the reverse of s2 and i'll compare it with compare it with string 1 so here my string 1 and the reverse of string 2 consider if string 1 is kiran and the reverse of string 2 is n a r i k i'll compare those two kiran and n a r i k and i say if if this entire thing that is it if it if the comparison is done and it gives zero so i'll skip the if block and when it gives zero when the term is same so here i'll be printing not a palindrome coming to else block printing palindrome so now if my input is kiran it says not a palindrome if my input is lil r i l it is a palindrome if my input is ama it is a palindrome so it says whether the given input is a palindrome or not palindrome so this is how we can find out whether the given string is palindrome or not so this is all about on strings